Hi, I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda. And we are Adventures, Adventures in, in No Madness. Madness. We're here to talk about the misadventure we've had recently and how to prevent how, misadventures ruining a perfectly good trip. Stay so tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> together for 11 years. This is the first for us doing laundry together. So it's a rainy nasty day in Quartzsite. We actually spent the night in a, a hotel last night. Uh, I already know that our tent leaks because I've had it in a lot less rain than what uh, this area had last night. There's even a flood warning. Uh, so I think the washes on the way to the BLM site where the RTR is are uh, got some water in them. We'll check it out after we get our laundry. But yeah, at some point we have to go check on our stuff in our tent. But if our tent doesn't dry out in the next few hours, we may be staying in a hotel again. But yeah, lay laundry mat. Whoop, whoop. It just stopped raining about an hour ago. There are uh, there is quite a few quite a bit of water in the washes to to get to here. Uh, most people that have RVs, they've stayed because they know it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. We came to check on the tent and we were extra glad that we stayed in a hotel last night and we are again tonight because we have about an inch of standing water in our tent. So I will show you that. Oh yeah, at least an inch. That's a lot of water. I used to do this in dinghies, but I'm not sure, sure I'm used to doing it in a tent. <laughs> First time for everything. We've shared in uh, previous videos how we set up our camp, but uh, we knew when we set up this tent, it was not an all season. And it was really good for really light rain, and that's it. So I've been annoying Angie almost every single day, checking what our weather is going to be uh -huh. <laughs> on this whole trip. And I spotted a lot of rain coming and a lot of wind. So I said, <laughs> kept showing it to her and convinced her that it wasn't all that good to spend the night. So we picked up all of our stuff and took it out of the tent, put it in the back seat of the truck. We spent the night in a hotel. The next day we came back and found about this much water at the base of this on the inside. And what basically happened is the water will come inside through the tent. And then because it's a waterproof bottom, it just sits there and keeps building up. Had we stayed in there, we would have been wet, but we have water, sort of waterproof uh, down sleeping bag, so I think we would have been able to manage. We wouldn't have died, obviously, in there, but it would have been an uncomfortable situation, and we're really glad we made that choice. But again, it comes down to preparation. In that case, we were paying attention to our environment, and we knew the limitations of our equipment. So if you keep those two things in mind, most of the time you're going to stay out of trouble, at least when it comes to the camping part of it. I will make a full-blown confession that when Rhonda said she was annoying me with the weather, very often I was very, very annoyed. She kind of downplayed that a little bit. But uh, she was looking at the Storm Radar app and giving me a hour by hour of what the chance of rain was. And I'm like, hey, this is Arizona desert. It's not really going to rain that much, is it? Well, it really did. As a matter of fact, a guy we know that was down the way here uh, ended up digging a trench around his tent. Uh, at six o'clock in the morning because it was such a deluge all night long he couldn't stay dry he couldn't sleep because it was just water just running right under his tent so he ended up getting up and then digging a, a trench around it uh, lots of other people got stuck and everything so anyway she was right i was wrong and we listened to the storm radar and we like she said we went to the hotel and we stayed dry all night and come back to bail out the tent so along with Rhonda's tip of being aware of your environment and also knowing the limitations of your equipment are two great trip, great tips. Uh, my third tip, based on what I just said, is listen to your partner, your spouse, or your traveling companion. If they are pretty adamant about something, you know, maybe you should listen. Maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong. It doesn't really matter, but listening to the other person as far as their, their fears is pretty important. And she really did save us a very, very, very drenched night. Hi again. Some of you may have followed the issues with getting stuck in mud after rain or during the rain. 
And one of the lessons coming out of that is for anybody parking uh, in this area anyways, I can't speak of for all of the desert. So if you look at the, the hard pack that people are driving on, it's all rock. There's no vegetation. However, look at all the vegetation, cactus. And all of a sudden, when you look down, you start to see clay. And notice what happened when we drove through this after the rain. In some areas, depending on how much water there was, or how much mud is seriously sunk down, or how heavy your rig is. This is just with a F-150 driving through. So we didn't have a rig being pulled behind us. But you can see it's all green. Uh, we did not sink down at all anywhere that we camped. It's all hard packed rocks, just like uh, the road. But then again, you hit the green again. So people have been driving through these washes this particular wash, I'm sure, was soft. It's now been about three days, and it's still a little bit squishy, but not by much, because the desert dries up really fast. So if you were sitting in, let's say we were sitting here, and we were surrounded by wash, we would just wait out the rain. A couple days, it dries up, and you're back on the road without sinking in at all. So as you've seen, we've definitely had a few misadventures during our road trips, but that can happen in life in general, whether you're RVing or going on a road trip, camping trip, whatever it is, stuff happens. We've had a flat tire, we had a massive uh, tent failure, among other things. So it's how you handle it and the tools that you have that can help mitigate or ease the, the trauma or the drama behind uh, what comes of that. So it's all up to you. So please let us know if you've had any misadventures during any of your trips. We'd love to hear them. And we'd also love to hear how you handled those. So give us a big thumbs up if you like this video or if it helped in any way. Love it if you would subscribe to our video. And one more tip, don't lean up against the cactus. It kind of hurts. There you go. Hi, I'm Angie. Hold on. Go Hi, ahead. I'm still Angie. <laughs>